Okay, so like I promised, the video <laughs> of putting this on here. Not that it takes a brain or anything, but uh, let me put that down for a second. I just want to show this if it'll stay. There we go. So this here is a 18 inch round. Uh, uh, either tabletop, stool, top, uh, you know, whatever cover for a barrel maybe I don't know whatever you'd want to use it for um, and this is a snowflake from uh, Michaels uh, I didn't make this <laughs> I just drilled a hole right through the center of it and adhered it to the board and these numbers uh, probably I got them at Michael's, so I mean they they were they were two ninety nine. But I mean if you catch a if you catch a sale or something, um, they'll probably be cheaper. Uh, these letters, uh, Michael's again. So, and I confirmed with the client that the letters were all in caps. He didn't care as long as they were script lettering. So, and these were wood, or are wood. I glued them on there with uh, super glue uh, in this way. And then I painted it with oil paint. This is still wet. So, um, and the same thing with the Merry Christmas. Um, this is a carved ornament. Okay. Um which I had used uh, black acrylic paint to paint the wood uh, and oil paint to paint the snowflake. So, and then super glued it to the board along, just like I super glued the numbers. Um, but I didn't stain in here because I wanted this deer to really stand out. So, not to mention it makes it a different color because I mean it is a it is an ornament. So looks really nice. I'm you know I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how this came out. So Alright. And now to put this on. And these here are also uh oops. These here are focus. Come on. Uh, metal snowflakes they're just brads uh, that's why that they, they were I, I, I had three holes I could never put this up against the camera and I, I made three holes except for well I, I mean I didn't make this one but <laughs> um, this one being for the peg uh, but these these are just brads so I drilled uh, through it and stuck the snowflake brads on and as you can see they just bend so that they hold in place so yeah and this just uh, shows you that this is one solid piece of wood that I carved out and painted so let me see if I can I don't even know if it'll focus Come on, man. That's wrong. But anyway, as blurry as it is, <laughs> you can pretty much tell. Uh, you know, with the lights and stuff on the uh, tree and stuff. That really, that really blows, man. But, see? Better cameras, better videos. So, we're going to stick this right on right now. Now, this is the peg that I have on it right here. Okay, so, um, I mean, I'm going to leave it like this. 
because I like the length. Uh, you can cut it down if you, you know, but I don't know. I don't recommend it. Just slide this sucker on. And then bam. Once I hear that click, that means it hit the, uh, the washer in the back that I glued on to a uh, plastic hanger for a drywall that you put your screws in, like I said in the last video. Um, so yeah, works really, really well. And even though it sticks out, it's okay. I mean, I could, I could cut it down, but I don't want to. I like the excess. I think it serves a, a better purpose than if I cut it down. So, but yeah, and then that's it. So manually, manually start this as a calendar going from you know 25 days till Christmas 24 days till Christmas 23 22 21 so on and so forth as it goes all the way around the clock to the very last day one day Christmas Eve and BAM Christmas so All in all, it came out good. I'm, I'm really, really liking the hand here. I did a good job. Second carving, number two. And uh, not, not too bad for an inexperienced carver, which used a piece of shit Dremel. It's not even a Dremel. Hyper tough. <laughs> so... And yeah, and in case anybody's wondering what the paintings are on the back, <laughs> these are all my paintings for sale, plus three clocks. Uh, not, not that one in the middle. And I'll have those ones ready pretty soon. And built the fireplace, not finished yet. And that painting up there, and that one's for sale. That's a cool dragon up there, by the way. Built the box frame for it and everything. Because it's on a wooden panel. I painted a wooden panel. Put a dragon on it. And it's pretty cool. So if you want to see those, you can go to my Etsy page. And uh, check that out. Which would be Wolfpack Studios, capital W, capital S, all one word. Um at etsy.com now I gotta do is clean up this stain and oil it down and it's ready for poly and then it take about a day or two for the poly to dry and then out it goes so all in all this would have taken four days to make not too bad not too bad so if you all want one Hit me up on this channel. <laughs> and, uh, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get some new followers. I mean, I've only got 22. So. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.